problem with producing this video is that I myself can't can't won't be able to see this video and it, that it's not described. So I wouldn't even know what is being shown. The second concern is that you know, am I putting myself on display like a you know um, oddity piece? And most people with disabilities really resent that. What do you mean oddity piece? You know, oh look at this, look at her, look at how she walks down the street. <laughs> I'm just walking down the street in a different way from other people, but I'm just walking down the street. I'm not your ape in a cage. Tell me if you know what's happening in this one. No. You are picking out clothes for that interview you mm -hmm. had in October? Mm-hmm. So in order for me to even get ready for an interview, I have to be super organized in how I arrange my clothes so I pick out the right clothes that actually match. Are you pouring the coffee? In the I really don't think this is related to job search. Um, there should be some sensitivity in not putting us on a pedestal to say, wow, look at it, she, a blind person can pour hot water on her own. No, it, it, everybody can do it, I just do it differently. So this is a job alert that came in this morning. So he just has apply, but I don't want to apply yet, but where's the information for that? Graphic text box, now, I don't even know what that means, graphic. Graphic? Two, two things that hinders me, and I don't think I speak for every blind person. One is the information access on the internet. Tutor Dr. Vaughn, I mean, I'm thinking Vaughn, is this in Vaughn? The other one is getting to the place, right? If you are so lucky that you get an interview, a lot of people say, do I disclose? Do I, do I disclose in my uh, recover letter that I'm actually a person with a disability? It's Yin here. Hey Yin, come on in. Thanks. Oh. And can you come in here? What's if disclosing gives me a better chance, for example, for CNIB, if they're looking for someone with lived experience or understanding of blindness, oh, I disclose right away. But most people don't ask, so I, if they don't ask, I don't say. I find my way down there to, to the interview place, and that's when some of them are shocked. They're like, oh my goodness, what do I do? You know, you, you know you can, I can't see their faces, but you can just feel there's this silence, you know? Understanding the website news, development and maintenance, proven interpersonal skills, enthusiasm and ability to both lengthy excellent English verbal and written communications, experience working with a diverse community, understanding the labor market challenges and barriers, articulate and deliver. This is on the way to the Toronto Employment Center, but this crosswalk doesn't have one of those audible signals. Like, if I were to travel on my own, nobody would be here to say you're not at the crosswalk yet. Right. So what I do, I have to kind of stick near to the curb, and then until I feel um, is this the, if I go straight, will I hit the island or no? Uh, no, no there's, there's no island on this street. Oh, no island on this part. Oh, oh the streetcar street car island. island. Yeah. Oh, come with me. Come with Where me. is it? It's right over here. Here meaning? It's not glamorizing, but it is remarkable to see how well human beings mm -hmm. adapt. Mm -hmm. And I would say carry that into the education system, carry that into the employment situ situ situation, where people say, it's wonderful this person can walk down the street, but we can't really trust her with a job, right? We, it's wonderful that she can, you know, make coffee for herself, but we can't trust her with a kitchen job. You know, you're amazed at us, uh, meaning me, <laughs> how we can do this and that. But when it comes to, okay, put your money with your, where your mouth is, no.